Hello and welcome to our channel. In the last video, we worked on databases. In this video, we will do some row and column transformations in the adult dataset. Let's start by creating a new workflow. We'll name it Operations. We will drag the adult.csv file in the workspace. We'll press OK. We'll run it and check the data. Let's take a look at the dataset. Let's say in the occupation column we can see some question marks which are black in color. They are supposed to be missing values. If I show you the original dataset in Excel, they have question marks instead of empty cells. Now if there would have been empty cells, like for example in this Excel sheet, which is saved as a CSV file, if we import this into the 9 and run it, we will see that the empty data is represented as red question mark. So, to handle this situation, we will first try to replace this question mark with an empty value and in turn make this empty value a null. For that we can use the string manipulation multi column since there are multiple columns with missing values. Now the current column variable takes each column in every iteration. Since there are integer values also, we will first start by converting this into a string. We can select this. Now, we will replace the question marks with empty cells. Here, we will give question mark and here just quotes. And then, we will change this to null and press OK. Let's run this. Let's check the data. If we scroll this side, we will now see the empty values are given as red question marks, which is correct. But now we have some unnecessary columns. Like the previous columns, the new columns have been given a prefix underscore transformed. Let's keep only the underscore transformed column names and remove the other columns. For that, we will use the column filter. We'll connect it here. We will use the wildcard. For pattern, we can give star, which means anything can come here before underscore. We'll write transformed here. And we'll press OK. We'll run this and we can check the data again. Now there are only columns that has underscore transformed in it. Now let's remove the underscore transform from the column names. For that we can use column rename regex. We'll drag this, we'll connect it here. We'll double click. For the search string we will use underscore transformed. We'll check the literal and replacement will be nothing. And we will run it. Now if we check column names are correct. But now the integer columns are also changed to string. We will solve that using the column auto typecast node. We will connect it here and there is nothing to configure. We can simply run it and if we check all the columns are in the correct format. 
now there are proper missing values but they haven't been handled yet there are multiple ways to do so let's start by a row filter can connect the data here and let's say we want to remove all the missing values from let's say occupation column and we will check on the missing value match and we'll exclude rows by attribute value we'll press ok and then we'll run it now all the rows that has missing values in occupation columns are gone we can also select some pattern let's say we want only rows that has handlers in the occupation press ok we'll run this and now the occupation column has only handlers now another way is let's say we want to filter data based on some integer column for that we have other options like let's say we will select age and we can use a range let's say we want people only from age 20 to 25 we will press ok and run this now we will have only the rows that has age between, tw between 20 to 25 if we want only people up to 25 we can remove the lower bound we can press ok and we can run this now it will give me people with age up to 25 we can also change the lower bound to 25 if we want people from the age 25 and above we can press ok and run this let's check the data we have only people which have age above 25 all right another way is to use a missing value node if we double click it we can handle it by using let's say for numbers we can say median and for the string we will say most frequent value we will press ok and we will run it now if we check the output all the question marks are gone from all the columns we will move forward with this data now let's say we want to change this United States to USA for that we can use the rule engine node we will put it here we'll connect this and what we can do is let's say if native country is equal to united states we'll change it to USA or by default we will keep it same as native country and we will replace the column native country here we will press ok and we will run this now if you check the data all the united states have been replaced by USA Now let's say we want to create another column that gives us the age class. Let's say people above or below a certain age. For that let's again use the rule engine. We'll double click it. And we'll say if age is greater than or equal to 18. 
we will say it is over or else we will say is under and we will append a new column name let's say age class we'll press ok we will run this now if we check the data we have a new column age class we can sort it by let's say descending we will find that there were people those were under the age of 18 alright now we have a column hours per week let's say we want to compute hours per day for that we can use math formula node we'll connect it here we'll create a new column hours per day we'll and we'll take hours per day divided by let's say 7 and convert the output to integer we'll press ok and we'll run this you can check the data we have a new column which says hours per day now let's try to move this column to the front we can do that using column resorter we'll connect it here we'll double click we'll move age class near age and we will move hours per day near hours per week and we'll press ok and we will execute it we can check the data now everything is formatted correctly 